The station had now moved further into overground territory. Scratch's grimy breakfast show began and was to become a renowned show on Rinse over the next six years. Scream released his debut album and Rinse underwent his own facelift in the form of a brand new logo. Give Up Art, 2006. I'd been involved with um, uh, Forward and Temper uh, back in the dim distant years since about 2000, uh, working with a mate of mine, Neil, um, set up Temper with Sarah Lockhart, who then ended up working with G in Rinse. And I'd kind of met G a couple of times at Forward uh, in the early 2000s, and um, Rinse did a few kind of hookups with Forward. So that was the connection that, that, that got me uh, working with Rinse. Um, and then around 2006, they came to me and they were gonna rebrand the radio station and they wanted a, a new logo and a new identity for that. So that's kind of where we got involved. Yeah, so I mean, a, a, a big part of the Rinse brand, I think, is the, um, is the colors that we use. Back in the beginning, that was a kind of a device that we'd used on the forward flyers. Doing the, doing the flyers for forward was really nice because we were just reducing the amount of design, really, trying to kind of pair it right back to kind of show as little as possible on a flyer. And that approach was really working well. When you kind of come out of clubs and you'd see flyers thrown in the, you know, thrown on the road, thrown in the gutter, the forward ones would always kind of leap out. So we sort of took that approach with rinse, in a way, and we kind of hit with the cyan, the blue, because a lot of it was printed just kind of normal four colour process colours. So if you print cyan, you kind of, you, you get like a, it's almost like a solid colour. Yeah, so I think the first release that we did for Rinse was, was one of the, was the Rinse Mix series. Um, and uh, part of the idea for that, that was kind of came from G and Sarah, was that they wanted to use these mixes as a kind of a way of getting out the latest music on Rinse and, and being a bit of a kind of a, a, a calling card for Rinse as well as the DJ that was doing the mix. So working with Sean Bloodworth, the photographer guy, we'd done a lot of work with on Temper for you know Scream and Benger and all sorts of stuff. Sean's kind of like a big part of the a part of this uh, the, the artwork as well. Um, uh, we kind of hit on quite a strong look for the rinse mixes, so it was always just a kind of a, a straight on no nonsense photograph of whoever was doing the mix, and then using the, the kind of the new rinse logo and the kind of R sticker device, we kind of branded it with like a, a, a strong strip of colour so that each each subsequent release we kind of have a different portrait it's going to look different yet still part of the series um, and and that was yeah that was the first thing and I'm pretty sure that must have been around about the beginning there but 2006 in general was just a, a pretty amazing year I think that was the first the first Scream album kind of came out then so it was an amazing time to be involved you know and we, we got, a, got a lot of good work out of it and that's been Part of, the, part of the nice thing about working with Rinse is, you know, the, the freedom you get and the opportunities we've got and, you know, the fact that they'll sort of go with some, some pretty nice uh, design ideas as well. They've been really supportive. 